We love the river and uh, we're successful in Grafton because of the Mississippi, but the uh, Mississippi is also unpredictable. So while you live with all of the good things that the river brings us, we also have to live with the unpredictability of the river. Across the nation, communities and property owners seek ways to reduce damage from flood losses by regulating development in floodplains. One of the most common ways communities accomplish this is by adopting a freeboard requirement. Freeboard is a higher regulatory requirement to elevate a structure above the minimum base flood elevation. It provides an additional level of protection against a flood. The National Flood Insurance Program, or NFIP, requires buildings in high-risk flood hazard areas to be elevated to the 1% annual chance flood, sometimes called the base flood. Larger floods can and do occur, of course, so freeboard reduces the risk for future flood damage even more. Freeboard's important for several reasons. First of all, it's, it's an additional layer of protection onto those structures. It puts them up for things like wave action and ice and debris and wind that can sometimes blow floodwaters into a structure. So it gets the house up for additional level of protection with uncertainties as far as climates and, and flood elevations in the future, it also gives some protection against the uncertainties in the future. So the river we're standing on right now is a perfect example. This river a year ago had a flood of record, the biggest flood in recorded history, and it passed unnoticed because every structure along this river has two foot of additional protection level. In addition to helping protect property through reducing flood damage, freeboard also leads to lower flood insurance costs. Buildings elevated with freeboard typically have lower premiums, and residents of communities participating in the NFIP community rating system receive additional discounts. The higher you build, the more you save. Community rating system is a voluntary program, and you're rated on different activities. Santa Rosa County unincorporated areas are currently a class five, which we receive 25% off. So that makes us a very forward-thinking county all the way around. The federal government is also taking action to reduce flood losses. Recognizing the increasing risks from flooding due to climate change, Executive Order 13690 established the Federal Flood Risk Management Standard. Building on EO 11988, signed in 1977, it requires federal agencies to factor in a higher flood elevation and expanded floodplain before spending taxpayer dollars to build or rebuild in floodplains. The standard includes freeboard as one of the three methods agencies can use to ensure reduced flood risks. Given the potential impacts of climate change, which is likely to increase the frequency and severity of flooding in many parts of the country, it's more important than ever to work together, creating safer, stronger, more resilient communities. I can't tell you the number of times that I was assured, we think you're gonna be okay, and then suddenly another uh, volume of water comes down and oops, we find out that what we thought was safe is now a major problem for us. So I think it's just uh, common sense and good precaution to require that extra foot. For more information, visit fema.gov forward slash FPM.